How's it going everybody, Jordan here, and in today's video, I'm going to revisit the legendary Greek hero set. I previously made a set review and build video for the set that was incredibly tanky, but due to the new level cap increase and some secret epic items that you can find in the game that I'll go over later in this video, members of our Discord community and myself have discovered a way to turn the Greek hero set into a literally invincible set. Look at this, it's absolutely insane. You can receive zero melee damage and zero range damage against you. This isn't any cheats or mods or anything and is only made with gear already found in the game. It literally is an insane god mode set that's something for sure you should check out. Before we get into the details, as always, if you could remember to leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. You can tweet them at me or join our amazing discord where there's a lot of generous people who would be willing to help you out all right let's get right into it what makes the build receive literally zero damage is the resistance mechanic the way it works in odyssey is that resistances are literally a hundred percent of the total damage dealt to you after all the armor piercing and every perk is applied meaning if you can reach a hundred percent melee resistance you will receive zero percent damage when it hit by melee attacks. The same is with ranged and elemental resistance. This build, when using a unique spear, you can achieve a simultaneous 100% melee and range resistance, making this set achieve that zero damage received by melee or range resistance. Sadly though, due to the elemental resistance perk being only 20% instead of 30% like the melee and ranged, you cannot achieve 100% resistances in all three categories, making things like fire swords and elemental bombs actually a little bit vulnerable to this set, but as long as you have health, those don't happen very often and you can deal with that when it happens. How we achieve this is by acquiring a unique epic spear in the game as a potential reward from completing the Thaletus Way. It's a quest located in Mykonos in the northern part of the island. When done right, you will receive receive an epic spear with melee resistance on it, which is not a perk that you can engrave on weapons. This spear helps us achieve the goal of 100% melee resistance and 100% range resistance with the set. Like I said, you can find this quest on the island of Mykonos in the north part of the island. You'll meet Thaletus on top of a destroyed ship where he will give you a task to kill three Athenian ships. You'll want to head out right away and find any of the three closest Athenian ships and destroy them. It doesn't matter which ones they are, just as long as you kill three of them. Return to Thaletus and he will give you a second quest to kill Athenian commanders. This is what we're looking for. You're looking for one specific commander that's located on the island next to Mykonos called Delos. On the southeastern part of the island is a guarded farm where the commander is located inside a building. You can only get to him through this quest and it involves a cutscene, so you're gonna have to kill his guards first before you can enter the building with him. Once you enter the house and you'll be given a choice to either kill or recruit him, you're going to want to kill him because after you kill him, he's going to drop a Spartan spear with melee resistance. Once you acquire this spear, you can engrave range resistance on your Greek hero set and achieve this invincible build that we've been going over. So let's go right into how this all is structured. So here is the Spartan javelin that I mentioned that you get from completing completing the quest. It gives us assassin damage, damage with spears, and melee resistance. Now what makes this so unique like I mentioned before is that melee resistance is not a perk you find on any weapon. And in fact this is likely the only weapon in the whole game that has it on there. I wish the team working on Odyssey kind of made that more apparent and either made these legendary weapons because a lot of you probably can sneak by or dismantle the spear or recruit the guy and not really Realize that you're bypassing a really rare piece of gear and so I wish they put more attention to these particular unique items but again as always you can do a new game plus come back and get this spear again if you happen to already complete the quest or don't have it because of the damage with spears the primary weapon that I'm using to fight with is the Hades Biden this gives us warrior damage crit damage an additional 20% damage with ring of chaos which we'll be using a lot and then I 
I engraved it with more damage with spears. After that, on our bow, I have warrior damage, damage with overpowered abilities, and 10% crit chance, and then I engraved 30% damage while at full health. Now if we move to the set, we have a 30% all resistances from the Greek hero set, and then we engrave the head with 30% range resistance. We move to the gauntlets, we're going to want to specifically engrave range resistance here again. On the chest, I went ahead and engraved crit damage for more damage here, and then the waist already has melee resistance on it, so I engraved crit chance here, and then on the waist we did 20% crit chance while at full health, because you're going to be at full health constantly on this build. After that, you're going to want to head over to your masteries, and you're going to want to put 10 points in melee resistance on the warrior tree to get 10% more melee resistance, and then on the hunter tree, put another 10 points into range resistance. Doing this takes melee and range resistance above 100%, making them deal no damage to you. So as long as you do those things, those right engravings on the gear set, the right masteries, and using that epic spear, you'll be able to achieve this in vulnerability. The rest of the stuff that I'm going to go over is my build and what I did to get damage out of this set, but again, it's up to you and how you'd like to shape it. So what I did on the warrior tree was I increased some warrior damage, a little bit of health and armor because you still can get some damage by elemental stuff, but as long as you have health with you, it won't matter. And the big one that I think is pretty cool with this set is you can engage a lot of enemies, so I really wanted to play with the damage per enemy engaged mastery. That one's been pretty fun. And then lastly, doing some damage dealt restored as health, some armor penetration, and other things like that. And then on the assassin tree, I put a bunch of points into crit chance and crit damage while at full health, as well as damage at full health, because you will be at full health. And I'm just trying to get that crit chance high to a point where it can deal a lot of damage. If you don't get the crit chance very high with this build, you will be invulnerable, but you also won't deal very much damage. Which leads me to the abilities. This is where a lot of your damage will also come from, not just regular melee attacks. And the primary one is going to be Bull Rush. The 400% warrior damage with Bull Rush here allows you to deal a significant amount of damage to mercenaries, regular units, and bosses to kind of make up for the fact that you don't have very much damage naturally with this set. Same thing goes with my second ability, which is Ring of Chaos. That gives us another 250% warrior damage plus the Hades Bident legendary engraving giving us another 20% damage. This is great at clearing tons of people out in a conquest battle even when you're invulnerable. And then the third is going to be the Spartan Kick. It still does 250% warrior damage and it lets you knock people out or kick someone away that's dealing too much damage. Well actually you're not receiving damage so. And then lastly on the uh, fourth ability we have the second win the health is all right let's look at the stats for this build as always in the description of this video will be a link to this build on our builds.ac website where you can look at all the gear abilities and masteries from your mobile phone or computer so you don't have to watch this video again if you don't want to but let's go ahead and look at the important parts here we hit a hundred percent melee resistance and a hundred percent range resistance with this set next on our damage we do an additional 87% damage with spears which is great highest crit chance I could squeeze with this build is around 64% while at full health and then when it does crit we're dealing a 295% uh, additional crit damage but overall it squeezes out enough damage where you can still kill things rather quickly so that's my new revisited Greek hero set the other Greek hero set video that I have you can check on the card cards or in the description of this video, I think is still really good and really relevant. You still receive almost no damage, but I felt like this was such a unique mechanic that I wanted to make a video about it and show you just how far you can push the different elements of this game and the ways that you can almost kind of break it to an extent. Because these aren't 
technically bugs. This is literally how the game works. The melee resistances, the range resistances, they are tied to how much damage you actually receive. So even understanding that, you can see how much just adding a simple 30% melee resistance onto your arms or anything on any build will have a profound impact on your tankiness for that build. But as always, if you guys have any questions or are struggling to find certain things or don't have the Theltis Way quest, let me know in the comments of this video or you can always tweet me. We also have an amazing Discord community with a ton of generous people there who love to help and talk with you. So you can also go to that by visiting builds.ac slash discord as well. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are awesome. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. So